So today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and basically I'm going to be every week unboxing things I have just bought over the time, which I just haven't had the time to unbox. So it looks like I'm doing shopping. I mean, I'm a professional shopper. That's what I do for a living. You know, we shop special pre loved bags all the time for special people. So yeah, um, let's talk about the first, as I call it, on Lux Promise Stories, giving you your daily dose of vitamin C. Now, as you can see, this is a box, obviously, from Hermes. Now, if you are after one of these bags, they're not easy to come by, like everything in Hermes. Uh, but it's one of those bags which I believe, well not believe, I know is also a great investment piece. So if you are somebody who's trying to purchase with some investment angle on it, then Hermes bags in general are investment pieces, certain mo models are, and one of those models is the one I've got in this box. So let's unbox guys, can you guys guess what it is? It's not a Birkin or a Kelly. Unfortunately, in case you don't want to see anymore, you know you can tune right off. So here we have this beautiful hair bag. Now, the hair bag is, I'm obsessed with this. I have been after an orange Birkin or a Kelly or an orange bag for a long time. Now, Hermes Orange obviously is the signature and house colour of orange, but this, continue, this type of orange has been discontinued or may be launched out in very rare occasions. So closest colours to um, orange are Fu, Capucine, Rouge de Corps, which is a beautiful, more ready orange, um, Rouge Tomate, those are the kind of like, and Fu, and those are the type of orange tones that Hermes does. So this particular one is a um, hair bag, 31 centimetres or 32 centimetres. It is in the colour Capucine. Now, as you can see, it is absolutely a beautiful. Look at that orange. It also has like a ready tone to it, which I really like. So it's not, I mean, it's not too, well, it is too orange, but that's the purpose, right? So this is actually known as the Sister Kelly or the cousin to the Kelly because it looks like the Kelly. It's got the same uh, body of a Kelly, like a top handle, a strap leather is a Varsh leather. So Varsh leather is quite similar to Bahrainia, so you can see. And the Varsh leather only comes with parts of like small leather goods and the top handle, well, the top body of the hair bags are Varsh leather. It's a much more smoother leather and it's quite a tough, tough leather. Now, this is quite an easy leather to scratch, but for me, I think it's just actually adds to the character you know these bags are designed to like darken over time to be used and this is designed to be a daily everyday bag um, and for me it's a perfect per perfect uh, summer bag so some you know there's other summer bag options that you have will be the chanel de Vol tote uh, you have the uh, Dior book tote which is a great summer bag but me being just a big fan of Hermes bags I absolutely um, love the her bag and they're so rare to come by so you don't ever know you can walk into Hermes and they may never have any you can walk into Hermes and they may have something and you don't know what color you're going to be presented with so I was very happy when they the only bag that they had in her bag was this capucine so I was very happy to be presented with this now this bag is um, in the stores for around I believe it was 2200 Obviously, do I have the receipt in here? No, I don't have the receipt here. £2,200. And in the resale market, you can see we do have some available at Luxury Promise, starting from £3,200 to £4,000, depending on the colour, depending on the uh, the design. So there's certain hair bags uh, which have certain designs on it, one of it being the Pegasus Pop, which is such a beautiful um, bag. I do have one of those in my collection where it's got the flying Pegasus flying over it, which was a collaboration with, an, well, not a collaboration, but with an artist called Dimitri, and he does the Pe Pegasus Pop range. Um, and it, they are just absolutely beautiful. Now, let me just quickly tell you a bit about the functionality of it. So as you can see at the top of this, you can see it features the Hermes um, in, um, embossing here, which is actually quite similar. I've got actually a perfume bottle here to the, what they have on the lid of the perfume bottle. And um, you can also see, see it has the Hermes design there as well. Now, what, how this varies, her bags have been around for a very long time, but how this varies from the vintage one is the 
it has a back pocket. The vintage ones don't have a back pocket, but I love them. And the, some of the vintage ones are slightly smaller in size. Uh, we do have this beautiful like Havana Brown um, her bag on Luxury Promise, which I believe is like around 900 pounds. So if you do want to add a her bag, uh, into your collection and you don't want to be paying a premium or the retail you can get the vintage ones because these have been around for a very long time but the difference would be that it doesn't feature this back pocket but what I don't know why they stopped doing this but what I love about the vintage ones is that you can have a removable body because this is canvas and you do have the risk of if you're walking around and you spill something on it and it can if you scuff it or scratch it or wear it that's it you're like it's gone but with the vintage ones actually you can actually remove the whole body of this so it's got this special twist feature which i'm just going to show you hopefully i can put it back together and you can actually remove the body and um from here you can just basically pull out all the parts and remove the body and replace it so the vintage ones come with a changeable body so you get like two bags the one that we have which I was contemplating at Luxury Promise. I'll leave a link up below. Not that I'm trying to sell it, but just giving you a comparison. It has um, a bay, like a, a canvas, plain white can cream canvas body, and also has the brown body. So you can, you know, the brown one can be great for winter, and then you can change it around with the like ivory cream one for summer. Uh, and as I mentioned, it doesn't feature the back pocket. Also, another feature with this is that the newer ones come with a removable pouch. The vintage ones don't have that. Uh, so this is not, it's actually not removable, but it comes with the extra pouch inside. So you can put in, like, cause it's a big loose bag. It comes with all the um, like extra space. And sometimes you're like checking around. By the way, these air cont airtight container bags are amazing. Don't get rid of them when you buy your Hermes bag. Keep them, use them to stuff your bag to protect the value. And you can actually, if you do shop from Amazon, I'm sure everybody shops from Amazon. Sometimes they sell, sell items with these airtight containers. Take them and use them to keep for your other bags, like recycle them, use them to stuff your other bags if you can. Have you, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this color, by the way. How amazing is this color? And especially with the tan, it is just the perfect summer bag. Uh, also, this one comes with a clochette as well, which again is similar to what is on the Kelly. It comes with a clochette and a padlock. I usually attach my padlock here and leave the clochette um, at the front. So you can put your padlock here, um, which most people do. They just hang the padlock to the side because I mean, really uh, doesn't have, you can't really close it. It's just a piece of decoration or you just don't wear it. Now, so that's the non-coated canvas. It's in the color Capricine. Let's just quickly just show you what it looks like on. So very pretty on. It can be worn crossbody. Sorry, my styling tips aren't very great here. And also, you can wear it top handle, uh, which is a bit more girly elegant. Now, just to show you, you can see the bag has been left open. You can leave it open like that, but then it's just not, I just think it's very flappy. You're walking around. No one wants to be walking around with their bag open, especially not in London. Um, so how I wear mine, and one of the downsides of the hair bag is that it's very fiddly. Uh, but how I, I mean, if you were to fully close this, I'm, I'm not going to pay in and close this and I'm standing in the middle of prep trying to grab my coffee. No, slot it in here and you can see it's already got that like uh, uh, grip so it doesn't, it's not going to just fall open. And you can close it up or you can just leave it like that and you can just attach it in there, which I'm, which I'm clearly struggling to do. Now, this is the normal canvas one. And as, as mentioned before, there is the Pegasus pop. There's one with the HD towel on, which is really fun and really, really vibrant. This is a bit understated if you can get an orange bright bag, which is understated, probably not. Now, I'm just going to quickly show you another bag of mine. I love her, her bags. They're great collector pieces. And I told you they're great investment pieces because you are buying these with tutu and brand new uh, in the store. And then they resell from around three to three and a half. Um, and I mean, I could put this on Luxury Promise and it would just fly out, but I'm not because I am desperate for this. Um, plus, I want to keep them. So, 
Another special bag that I just thought I'd show you, which was right here next to me, is the Hermes Coated Canvas. So this is the other option of buying a her bag. So what's the difference between this is, uh, this is in the colour line, and again, it features all that back pocket, and you can see how I've just dangled my clochette and padlock. This is actually coated canvas. So what that means is, it's got a special coat, and I can spill stuff on it and I can wipe it down. It's a bit more durable. So just so you can see the coated canvas. Now the coated canvas does co did come in line. Currently it's in navy, so you can get it in navy um, with like a black varsh trimming, I believe. So that's uh, one that's currently available. If you're lucky to pick that up in the store, you're you're lucky. Um, and we do we will be having one that actually just landed in Luxury Promise, which I was like, oh my god, there's a coated canvas one. And it's so rare to come by. And for me, it's a much more durable option. I can wear it without having to worry about it. You can see I've attached the Twilly bandana on here as well. Actually, this is not the Twilly bandana. Is it the Twilly bandana? No, this is a Twilly, and I think it's got different like perfume details on it. So this is super cute with the pastel yellow and the peaches. Um, and so uh, a different option when it comes to the hair bag. So just so you can see a comparison between not coated canvas and coated canvas. Uh, both with the Varsh leather, uh, a bit more uh, of that pop of yellow, a bit more of a pop of orange. Uh, and I just loved colour bags because you just, with Hermes colours, when you get them, you may never ever get them again because they stop producing them. So lime coated canvas, you won't ever get that from the Hermes store unless they relaunch the colour. And you can see I really use and travel this with this and I haven't really, there's no really scratches onto this so it's like been used it's been on holiday this is my these the hair bags for me are my summer bags okay so before i go and i am going to be back with some more incredible unboxings yes i'm not even going to unbox this you can see what i have here we have the takara hermes shoes now these are the quick equivalent of the dad hermes shoes um, and I am just obsessed. Now, this beautiful pair I managed to get before summer here, I think in April time, and I was so happy that I have scored these. I wouldn't ever have thought that shoes would be investment pieces. Like, it's crazy. Like, it really is. Now, these are reselling in the resale market for around a thousand pounds. So we had customers who bought these, snapped them up, and they're selling them on to make a profit because they're investment pieces. They re they're in the store around 600 pounds, I think I paid for these. And these now have sold out. And there's also the fluffy orange sandals, which I will do and talk about next time. And these Takaras, there's Takaras and Chipray. I think Chipray has no um, ankle detail. I can't even talk, but you know what I mean. I promise I am an expert. <laughs> handbag expert mainly than shoes so you can see this is uh, just incredible this paired up with this bag to match the leather trims on my handbag yes I'm one of those people that will match my shoes with the trims of my handbag but that's because that's what I love to do and um, these are super comfortable and again they're one of those rare pieces if you are somebody who's looking for them um they you mainly are now available in the resale market on some websites uh, of course luxury promise does have some not any of these because they were super rare we had some people sell the ones that they purchased but i am just obsessed with them they are beautiful um i don't know i would never thought i would if someone showed this to me if my mum bought me these pair of shoes when i was a 22 year old i probably would have cried if she forced me to wear them. And now, as a grown woman with three kids, I wanna wear these granddad shoes, uh, style shoes. Obviously, Chanel has their version, which is super cool as well. Uh, you can see it's got this HD tone. I love the fact that it's got this grip on it um, and they're just really pretty. Like, I think even with what I'm wearing now, I can style them up with jeans and I can put a dress on, like a nice, like, beachy dress with these shoes. I will not wear my shoes on the beach warning. I wore my shoes last time on the beach, like my Orans, and they just completely got destroyed. So here you go. They're, they're, these are my two special purchases of the month. And I will be back with some more special unboxing pieces. 
Um, so yeah, very excited. Do stay tuned. The next one, I promise you, is very exciting. Even he's excited. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, he's getting bored and I'm going to go. Bye.